Star formation is a long and complicated task. In fact, star formation can take about 10 million years. There are many stages in the process of star formation, each showing the complexity and elegancy of our universe. In the 20th century, two astronomers, George Herbig and Guillermo Harrow, independently discovered a fascinating phenomenon occurring in the process of star formation, known as the emission of herbig harrow objects. Stars form in massive molecular clouds in space, known as stellar nurseries. When these molecular clouds collapse due to their own gravity, newborn stars are created. The physics behind gravitational collapse lies in the hydrostatic equilibrium, the state in which the gas pressure of the cloud is in balance with the cloud's gravitational force. However, when a cloud increases in size, its gravitational force also increases, meaning that there is an imbalance between the gas pressure and the gravitational force, which causes gravitational collapse. The stars formed are known as protostars, which accumulate much materials to create an accretion disk. During this stage, the protostar emits bipolar jets of material in order to rid itself of excess angular momentum, because too much rotation could result in the star falling apart. When these jets come in contact with the surrounding gas, herbic harrow objects form at the collisions. Herbic harrow objects move at extremely fast speeds. In fact, they can move at several hundreds of kilometers per second. They are made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, although they can have other gases, such as oxygen, nitrogen, and magnesium. The hot, ionized gas present can reach temperatures of about 10,000 Kelvin, which is equivalent to about 17,540 Fahrenheit. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!